Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reorganizing my foil stickers. So I guess first I'll show you, well these are the items that I'm going to be using for my new storage. I got them on Amazon. I'll go ahead and link them down in the description below. I will say the quality is, as you can see, very flimsy, less than ideal, but this is kind of the unit, the storage system that I wanted. So we'll see how it goes. I might upgrade to like maybe nicer quality photo albums in the future. And these um, covers are changeable. So I will be changing them out once I get everything situated. So I'll show you what my current organization oops, looks like. So I have all my foil in here right now. This is a, I don't even know what this is called, accordion folder from the container store. And it's like kind of bursting at the seams. I did take some out, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, so it's not quite as full. And this is really only like the foil bundle. So anything that's like themes, like my Harry Potter foil, and pretty much anything for Planet Hannah is in a different storage, like which is mainly the fandom slash themed ones. But this is just the general one. So I'll kind of go over it really quickly. In the first one, I have rainbow. And then I have pinks followed by reds and oranges, the gold that's not actually gold, so like matte bronze, copper, champagne lights, things like that, blues and greens, purples, which are currently being used for a weekly planner spread, which is why there's none in here right now, mixed metals and black, and then I move into the core foil. So this is gold, gold hollow, rose gold, silver, silver hollow, and then sparkly hollow, which is how I have everything stored. It's kind of hard to find. It's super bulky. Um, I just, I've kind of outgrown the storage. The storage la lasted for me for quite a while. And I mean, it's still in good shape. Like this is a very good um, accordion folder, but it's just, I have too many foil items now. Things are getting kind of hard to find less organized so that's why I want to change it up and so that's why I wanted to move into these albums and I actually even I had an extra album here that used to store my planner Kate samplers so I tried out with the gold and rose gold just to see how it worked and I really like it and as you can see it doesn't fit perfectly the foil is a little bit higher than the actual album which doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would and if I found out that after I used these for a while that it really does bother me I did find other albums which these are four by six I saw some five by seven albums on Amazon they were a bit more expensive but they do exist so if this sticking out really bothers me then I can switch to a larger album so I've been kind of not practicing but trying it out in this album since I already owned it <clears throat> this one's from Michaels and this quality I actually like a lot more. It's way more sturdy and I guess better well made. I don't know. So if these again, if these come prove to be too cheap, then I'll switch to these. I just it was easier to buy on Amazon and I didn't know when I would be going to Michaels next and I just really wanted to switch this foil out. So I've been wanting to do this for a while. I even made a list of the order that I want the individual items of the foil to be in, as well as which, I guess, albums, binders have each foil. So I'm just going to lay these to the side so I can easily reference them. And then I'm going to start with the gold and gold hollow. So these albums have a very definitive middle. So most of these, al most of the albums have the foil kind of in two sections. So I'm going to put the gold in this section and then the gold hollow in this section just like when we get to hollow it'll be hollow in this section and sparkly hollow in this section so i can still have the same kind of foil in the same album but they'll be separated um, easily so st again starting with the gold so i think i'll probably just talk through this one and then the other ones i'll just put on a fast forward so like i said these are basically just transferring straight from since i did practice practice. I, I hate using that word, but um, I did test it out in this one. So the gold and the gold hollow will mainly be, oh, actually ro I had rose gold in the back, so that'll be different. So, okay, let's just go through. So I want icons in the first section. The second section, which again, a lot of this is blank because like I said, I 
takeout foil for the, for the month. So those are already in those assigned weeks. So that's why my entire foil collection is not here today. So I'll have scripts in this folder, weekend banners in this one, deco bits, date dots, date headers, washi, headers, so like header overlays, full box overlays, and then underlays. And because they don't really fit, I only put two underlays in each like folder or slot, whatever you want to call it. And because again, if I put too many, I found that they wouldn't fit and they'd get a little warped. And also you really only need two for a spread. So I thought it would be kind of easy to just grab a section of underlays for a spread. That would be the best and quickest, most convenient option for the way I plan. Okay, so that was all for the goal. So then I'll flip to the middle. And this will be Gold Hollow, which I do have in here. Again, not everything is here now, but I just wanted to pull because kind of what I have. And then I have empty places and just I can stick these in as I finish them with my weekly kits, like whatever is left over. And I decided that I'm actually going to keep any bundles or wiggles like full sets still in the accordion folder just because flipping through here for full sets is kind of easy. Um, I think these would get too fat having like full bundles and stuff. So I think just the extras and like, you know, little add on things like that are going to go in here. Full bundles will go in here. So once I finish a bundle and I find that there's not enough stickers left over to make like a full spread with it, I'll put in here so I can kind of just pick and choose what I need for that week. <clears throat> okay. So again, moving on to gold hollow, sparkly hollow, sparkly gold hollow, whatever. So anything with a hollow base that's not normal. Anything with a gold base that's not normal gold. So again, icons go here. Um, I think this is the only one I have right now. Scripts. Weekend banners. Deco bits. What I think... I'm going to count quote overlays as deco. So I'm going to put that in there. Date dots, date headers, washi, header overlays. Full box overlays and regular underlays. So I realize I don't have a place for functional items. So I think what I'll do is add a category. So actually it's easier to see with the gold. So I think I'll add it after the weekend banners. Yeah. So after the weekend banners, which means I need to push everything back one to make that up that room. And then if a sheet has more than one type of um, sticker on it, then I just 
put it in the one that I am most likely to use first or the ones that I reach for most, um, whichever. And then once I finish all those types of stickers on that sheet, I'll just move it to the next one. Or as you'll see what I'll do with upcoming sheets, I actually may just cut it if it's easily like cuttable, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like if, if it's in an easy place where I can just like make one easy clean cut, then I'll just cut it because... So it'll fit in here. And also that way I can take bigger sheets like this, make them smaller. So less sheets are going to be sticking out of the top. Okay. So again, there's icons, scripts, weekend banner, functional, deco, date dots, date headers, washi, and then header overlays. Okay, so I like the way that is. So I kind of talked through this one and then I will fast forward and probably play some music, do a voiceover, whatever, with the remaining one. So again, I, I'm, I'm, they're, they're going to be random, whichever albums I choose, because I'm going to change out these covers anyway. And I'll kind of, I'll talk over a little bit about which is going to be in which album. So the next album will be Hollow and Sparkly Hollow, Silver, and then I needed like something else to put in there as a section so I think I'm going to do rainbow and black to fit that I'll do rose gold and the pink since I do have a lot of those I feel like those are popular foil colors reds oranges yellows so the warm tones and then finally greens blues and purples so the cool tones so again I will fast forward and or do a voiceover okay so I don't think I have enough things to talk about in this voiceover to fill the whole like time slot that I have everything on fast forward so I think it is going to be whatever I feel like mentioning and then music to fill the rest of the time so you don't have to just listen to nothing so first I just want to mention obviously I'm going over the second album here which is the hollow and sparkly hollow specifically the silver colors because I do have separate hollow so like lavender hollow gold hollow pink hollow things like that in a separate album and like i said there were a few things that i wanted to mention so since i filmed this video i did change out those covers so as you saw like that blue stripe there's another red one and another black one i just basically flipped those around so that uh, white paper that you're seeing on the inside is now on the outside and i put um either Simply Gilded or Scribble Prince Co. bows on the outside and the foil on the bow matches the foil in the album. So the only album that doesn't have foil right now is the reds, oranges, yellows foil one because I didn't really have a good um, bow to use for that. So once I get that bow... Uh, I haven't shopped at Simply Gilded in a while, so maybe I'll just go online really quickly because she does sell those bow seals or envelope seals, whatever they're called. So I will probably just go on, purchase that, and then add it to um, that album. So then I'll have a complete labeled, at least color-coordinated album set. And then another thing that I did since I filmed this, I actually cut up a lot more of the sheets than I showed in this video. So now that, so like the sheets are smaller and more specialized to whichever specific sleeve that they're supposed to be in. Like for example, that sticker sheet that I just put in there had both quotes or had both, yeah, scripts and icons. Um, that specific sheet I did not actually cut, but I'm saying, you know, sheets like that I cut a little bit more to make it more specialized like that. And then what else did I do? I don't think I really did much else since then. And you'll notice that I kind of mix and match shops. I'm okay doing that. Um, even if they are slightly different, it's fine and not a big deal. I'd rather use up my items rather than keep all of the foil from the same, from the same shop together. And I've also went through my bundles from that accordion album that you saw previously from the container store. And I kind of split up some of those since Scri Scribble Prince Co's old bundles don't have the same amount of stickers that the current bundles do. The old ones may not have enough in them to completely 
fill a spread or at least the way that I want that spread to be filled. So I kind of went through some of the bundles, took apart some of the ones that I felt like didn't have enough stickers, put them in these albums here, and then the bundles or maybe combined two bundles that were kind of half full to make one complete bundle, kept those like the full bundles in the accordion folder and then put the other multicolor foils in these albums here. Okay, so that is everything that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you can see, I got rid of a lot of like blank pages. And then I have this, um, what are these called? Hold reinforcers from Caress Press that I don't use. So these will just be given away. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know how you guys store your foil in the comments down below. Don't forget that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.